Hey everyone, it's Rodev, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an E to open GUI. So right here, I'm going to hold E, and the GUI appears. So let's get right into it. So to start off, what I have is a UI, a part with an attachment, and a prompt inside of the attachment. So uh, let's look into it. So this is the part, and I have, a, I have an attachment inside the part, and inside the attachment, I have a proximity prompt. And this prompt, uh, as you can see, it says open GUI. The hold duration is 0.1 seconds. And uh, E to activate it, and that's pretty much it. You guys can customize this as you like. So the next thing I have, actually one more thing I want to add is make sure you have this name to something uh, different than the default. Because uh, that's how we check uh, which prompt was triggered. So uh, once you have a name, you can, you can go ahead and go to your UI, which I'm assuming you might already have made. If you don't, go ahead and create one. Uh, this frame right here is actually invisible. I'm just going to make it visible real quick. It, ha it has a, sorry about the car in the background. It has a UI corner and a UI stroke uh, to kind of shape the frame. And other than that, here's a script. So it's a local script inside the screen UI. And basically, uh, we do local frame equals script dot parent dot frame. So script dot parent dot frame. And then we have a proximity prompt service. So PBS I've named it. And basically, uh, proximity prompt service dot prompt triggered uh, connects a function. And right here, we can get the prompt that was triggered and the player that triggered it. In this case, we don't actually need the player, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, from there, if prompt on name equals open GUI prompt. So make sure the name of this prompt and the name over here is the same. So if prompt on name equals open GUI prompt, then frame dot visible equals true. So basically, uh, if the prompt's name is the same as this prompt right here. Uh, we go to our frame variable which uh, leads us to this frame and then we set the visible property to true and after that the the frame uh, i meant to say will become visible so i'm gonna go ahead and make it invisible hit play and e and as you can see the gui opens so that's all there really is to this uh, i'll see you guys in the next video it's road of uh, one more thing make sure you hit that like button and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Rodev. Peace.